when will people learn to appreciate other people? And this was on the heart of Trina, and she left her words behind, and we must continue to hear the voices of our children. This next poem was written by my son. My son, Stephen Odom, on October 4, 2007, Stephen's life was taken to gun violence. And then three months, let me back up a little bit, Stephen as well, just like Trina, was walking home from playing basketball in the neighborhood. And while walking home, he was shot in the head and did not survive. Three months after Stephen's death, my husband and I, my husband's with me today, Pastor Ronald Odom, we attended an event at Stephen's school, and it actually was in January. And after the event was over, one of the teachers said, Mrs. Odom, we found some journals of Stephen in his locker, and we'd like to give those journals to you. And I was so excited that they had found these journals and that the janitor knew not to throw them away. And so in one of the journals that Stephen wrote, he had many peace poems because he attended the Timothy School. And in the Timothy School, they have what they call the peace curriculum. And the peace curriculum is taught um, through the Lewis D. Brown Peace Institute. And any of you who might know um, Tina Cherry of the Lewis D. Brown Peace Institute, she created this peace curriculum, and it was in Stephen's school. And so there were so many um, peace poems in his journal, and this one he entitled Peace. Now, he wrote this poem on February 8, 2007. When I think of peace, I think of life and love. All we got to do is put this violence above. We need to put this violence away. If you don't, you're going to pay. Everywhere we go, there's people dying. Then after that, there's people crying. Now let's make some peace and stop being on the streets. And who knew, months later, October 4, 2007, Stephen's life would be taken to the very thing that he understood that he lived in a community where, you know, these things were going on. And if I can just leave with all of us today, let's continue to hear the voices of our children who are no longer here with us, who have lost their lives, to the violence. Let's hear the voices of our children that are here with us, crying out because of what they know that they have to face when they go out each day. We are the adults in their lives, and we have to, we have to take up this cause and recognize that we can, to we can make a difference. We can make a difference and it was my, my desire, and after losing my son, that it would not, his life would not end on that note, on the note of violence. That we knew that we had to take it, you know, beyond the tragedy that it is, because it is a tragedy. But what's on the other side? What's going on within the hearts of these young people who feel like they have to take it to that level? And, and take someone else's life. We need to find the root cause of what's going on in our young people. Let's hear their voices today. Again, God bless you, Asara, for the work that you do. And I'm just, you know, wanting to be one of the ones to join the fight. I want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. God bless you.